Hello everybody, welcome to game number two in Blitzpit 6 for uh, JFW Superstars, my Dark Elves, up against Wolfbark in the second round. He's called his team losing Elf Meta, but it's not that bad against Elves. He doesn't have a tackle, sure, but he's got a Frenzy, which is alright, wrestling a block. It's weak, It's a bit weak against, uh, with no sure hands, it's a bit weak to Wood Elves, but it's, you know, that's losing to Wood Elf Meta, not losing to Dark Elf Meta so much. 13 men, so he can foul a bit, um, and I've got 3 armor 7. He's got 3 rerolls. Up against standard uh, Dark Elf team and doing commentary so that in concentrate is Skurometso. So thank you very much, Skurometso. I'll hand you over to him and choose. Hello, everybody, and we are just coming off the heels of an incredible first round match. If you haven't seen that yet, hit up Jimmy Fantastic on at Jimmy Fantastic on YouTube for that match. By the time you're hearing this one, I'm sure it'll already be up. Uh, Jimmy was able to eke out. A, uh, a cage dive heavy overtime win uh, in the first round against the necromantic team that just gave him all sorts of problems. A lot of kickoff results did not go his way. But now we're into round two. Wolfbark with his uh, undead team and Jimmy Fantastic carrying those elves again. Let's see what happens as this game begins. I gotta load up. I gotta load up the uh, the, <laughs> the replay now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both uh, both coaches well known in uh, in in Rebel, which uh, a single Rebel turn is a, basically half of a <laughs> half of a, a Blitz Pit uh, you know tournament. So should be interesting. We do have very sunny, so I, I think uh, we're not going to see any passing, which we wouldn't have seen anyway. Unless there's a problem. And uh, I didn't see who, uh, won the, uh, who won the toss, but Jimmy is on offense, so I'm going to assume it was Wolf. Now, first round game, Jimmy got uh, turn one blitz on a shallow kick. Will that be in his head coming into this game? Uh, right now, I mean, he's not done setting up, but uh, right now a little bit loose. Not quite as much speed to deal with without those wolves on the pitch. Or wolf, there's only one of them. But three ghouls, and we got a frenzy player. That's going to have to be his tackler for this game. Jim's probably going to like that with the amount of blodge he has. And, well, he did get the short kick caught on the line of scrimmage. Dangerous place to be when you got to throw blocks to start. But Jim's right into it. And, oh, look at that. This game started a little bit different than the first one. An instant removal. Jim up a player. Now, Wolfbart does have a bench of two zombies. Jim with no zombies. Uh, Bull, uh, well, Jim with an Apo. Wolfbark obviously is undead. Oh, interesting. Jim not even blitzing the ball free, just going to move the cage up on him. Going to be based by a zombie, but I don't think he's terribly concerned about that. Yeah, and as as Jim uh, Jim is uh, generally really good positionally, uh, not one to over rely on tight cages. Um, he's going to protect the ball here, uh, make sure that uh, make sure he's got the eye cage going, but he can spread his players out. And uh, looking uh, looking looking pretty aggressive on offense here. Maybe maybe thinking a quick score. Um, I don't know. That's a that's an interesting. Uh, that is an interesting question to ask. Would you guys favor a quick score, like an elf score, like a turn four or five, or would you just try and grind it to turn eight? Uh, no, his runner has not yet touched the ball, I don't believe. Maybe accidentally.
Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. I think I. I think I settled into that table. I don't know. I played a bunch of dark elves. I don't know that I've played a lot of them at kind of this lower TV against undead. To be completely honest with you. Um, but yeah, he just kind of gives um. Well, it gives him gives him the lino to hit, which you know Jim's not going to feel too bad about. But he is stunned now, so almost assuredly Jim's going to move his you know move his way back to the right there. <laughs> Fair enough, Muppet. Yeah, I um, most of my most of my dark elf experiences in tabletop in like <clears throat> leagues with friends, you know, a decade ago or whatever. And I definitely had one friend who played undead and was pretty decent with them, but I probably played him like maybe three times ever. Interesting, Jim looking to maybe 1D the mummy. Curious. What do you all think about that, uh, Brian the Grim, though? The, uh, the white with... Uh, with frenzy as his only skill other than you know the requisite law that is not something i would have considered coming into this um frenzy isn't really a skill i i value too much on undead teams when i play them <clears throat> good skill but so we seems like a weird choice to me i'm curious what do you guys think And there's a 1D. And uh, gets him down, but he's going to be right back up. Didn't break armor. But he does manufacture another 1D there on the white. And gets the knockdown. So now where does he... Uh, he's just going to leave that Going to leave that other line of where he is. So, yeah, Jim's going to... um. <clears throat> Probably get flooded a little bit. Uh, hang on, I'm going to turn off that alarm real quick. So Wolfbark's probably going to try and cut the uh, cut off the uh, the easy cut back to the left, which is what Jim you know Jim usually kind of swings one way, then swings back, and then figures out where he where he can go from there. Um, but if he does that too much, then Jim just moves right up that right sideline with impunity, especially now that the uh, frenzy is nowhere near um, to, to, to pressure him, keep him away from that, uh, that edge. Hello. Who jumped in? I heard someone jump in. Oh, and go. Uh, Wolfbark leveraging his guard over there against pretty much all of Jim's team. Um, so now, but yeah, here, here, here's the question. Now, like we saw last game, Jim could very easily just cut back to the left and kind of sit back. 
but it looks to me like he might just move right up, being a lot more aggressive this time. Oh, and gets another zombie removal, another KO. Number is looking good for Jim right now. Not sure what... Does he sideline cages? He, Jim hates sideline caging, so... It would be, um... A little uncomfortable for him. But looks like he's gonna have to. And now... Now it's a little sticky. A bad die roll here could be... Big problems. Yep. Yeah, I agree, Dr. Mama Bosco. Uh, not, not super common for Jim, either. Um, he's, uh, he's not the most conservative player on there, but he's certainly more on the conservative side of Blood Bowl. And there's his one dodge. He's been having a lot of those this tournament thus far. Um, not a meaningless dodge, either. Now his, uh, both of his witches are about to take some mighty blow hit. Oh, no, sorry. Just one of them, because that, that white has guard, not mighty blow. But, yeah, those witches are going to get pounded a little bit, and then uh, he, it's going to get, things might get a little tight on that sideline for him. Force a really early score. I don't think he wants to do that. <laughs> or then maybe, again, though, it's interesting. This is pushing so far forward for Jim. Maybe he really did just want to score quick on Wolfbark, try and turn him over. With uh, with Wolfbark having the two bench and Jim having none, uh, you know, not a lot. You know, just the two mummy mighty blows. But Jim probably knows by the time he gets to overtime, if it, if it ends up that way, he's going to be down then again. Uh, so maybe looking to maybe turn him over. And score two on his on on his own drive, and that witch is going down. This could be bad. Big mighty blow hit here. And there's the armor break, and <laughs> Mia Khalifa, she ain't coming back from that. The apothecary is out, and she is safe. Woo! That could have been a disaster for him. Um, but a questionable, I think, a I think it's fair to question that push on the right side there, leaving those two witches, uh, kind of, uh, in the, in the hands of fate, as it were, needing, needing to avoid a one, which he didn't avoid. Second witch though, able to avoid a knockdown. And now Jim, I, I, I assume, is going to just milk another turn with a few two pluses. But uh, this ain't going to be an eight-turn stall, folks. Yeah, absolutely he needs that player. Oh, and the other witch armor broken as well. And, uh, yeah, now we're just going to... I don't think he scores this turn, but I think he's going to just dodge everyone away, blitz that uh, blitz Bone Smasher the Ghoul up top there, and uh, score next turn. Don't think he can get enough of these down linemen relevant to stall any longer. And, you know, I'd say, you know, I'd say that's reactionary and he's just kind of forced into that. I don't know. Ooh, there was another dodge right off the bat, but he gets the reroll. Um, I feel like this was Jim's plan from the get go. I don't really feel like he's like reacting to a bad situation so much. Uh, I mean, he kind of put himself into one by, by, by pushing up. But it didn't really look like he cared about cutting back at any point. Maybe, and maybe that's just based on what Wolfpark did there in the middle. But 
Um, I kind of got the sense that Jim Jim wanted to score. Yeah, turn five, turn six, maybe maybe five or maybe six seven. And then he snakes a dodge, and now that ball. <laughs> well, this game is uh, this game is going to be rough from here. Not much happened good on that sideline push. Yeah, wrestle, wrestle, yeah, wrestle, ghoul right there for the blitz. Um, nope, doesn't even need a GFI for the assist. Now, the good news is there's not going to be a, a ton in the way of recovery. If he does shake the ball free, so chances are Jim will have a chance to just two plus two plus score. Uh, but depending on where that ball ends up, that might not be <laughs> that that might not be an option. Here we go. Wrestle Blitz coming. And he gets him on a full pow. Full pow. And the ball is just the one tackle zone. Probably going to pick it up with the ghoul. No one else really safely in range. No? I don't know if I love that. I think I'd want that ball in the ghoul's hands, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, yeah, good point. Those elves, or some of them were stunned, I think, Muppet. Oh, and there he goes. Makes the dice roll there. And now, oof, oh boy. Jim's in some shit now. Now everyone's standing up now, but the damage might, or the damage is definitely already done. Um, Jim's going to have to play some defense here. Here comes the Blitz. Going to surf, going to take the ghoul surf. No, he's not. <laughs> Gets the ghoul down though, no armor break. Oh, that that's gonna hurt. And now, uh, now we're gonna reset this game a little bit, and it's gonna be like Wolfbark. Uh, Wolfbark uh, had a rough had a rough time on a kickoff <laughs> uh, for himself. So he's gonna be a little Wolfbark's gonna be a little stretched thin to protect this ball, but not not that bad because he's got those two two zombies in the middle there that are unengaged. Hey, Atarsis, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, he just went. He just went right into this game. Uh, I'm really curious. I'm curious about what he was thinking and strategy. Almost maybe, maybe playing into Wolfbark's uh, team name there, losing to Elf Meta just a little bit. Thinking, well, I might as well just ramp it up on him and uh, see if Elves can be Elves on the undead. But. All it takes is a snake, and Jim had a couple of them. Well, no, he only had one snake, but he failed another dodge before that. Don't mind the alarm. Everything is fine. That is the everything is fine alarm in the background. Yeah, two Artemis snakes, yes. <laughs> I think everything is still fine. Don't mind the alarm. <laughs> ah, les joueurs viennent au soutien de leur coéquipier.
And what's a what's a Wayne what's a Wayne quad for the uh, the uninitiated or not? Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. Avec ces trous d'arbres qui lui tiennent lieu de bras, c'était un peu pour d'avance. Les panneaux soient de sang et moi aussi. Allez, une dernière petite pichenette. Quoi, ça ne sert à rien que je dois dire. Ah, ok. Uh, yeah, one sec, I can get it, I can get it. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup de Got you. En dessous de la ceinture. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't pay attention. <laughs> I can barely keep track of myself on, uh, on Discord, <laughs> let alone Gary and of all people. <laughs> All right. Well, Jim, keeping the pressure on, um, and I, you know, this is going to kind of come down to uh, how many, how many one and nines can these ghouls keep making? Uh, but Jim, uh, ooh. This is really, Jim, two turns to try and turn this around and score. Uh, might already be have to start being into uh, prevent the uh, the counter score mode, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, Muffet, he's been aggressive this entire game. It's really, I mean, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not calling it wrong, and I'm not I'm not trying to rebel my way out of this. Uh, you know, like I don't hate the way. It played out, and he had some unlucky dice to kind of put him in this spot. It just seemed very un-Jim to me, if that makes any sense. You know, I watch a lot of a lot of his Blood Bowl, and uh, this was um, this was a little loose by him. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's very true, Adon. But as undead with a bench, it's a pretty big win for Wolfbark just to prevent the score at all. So he can only be so concerned about scoring right now. Yeah. Yeah, so much for that uh, no tackle. Yeah, on the scale of... Uh, of Andy Davo to uh, from a on the scale of Andy Davo to Elion, Jim's probably like a a seventy. With well, that, the number doesn't make any sense. You can't see the scale that I'm imagining. Jim's like three quarters of the way to Elion. I feel. What's going on, Anarian? This is uh, Scaramezzo covering Jimmy's blitz pit game because he has a minute of turn to think. And uh, that's uh, that's asking a lot of any Blood Bowl coach, let alone someone streaming. Now, Jimmy's playing the uh, – Jimmy's Jimmy's the Dark Elves. He uh, did a hard push up the sideline to score and uh, snaked, and now the uh, undead have the ball. Doesn't look like Wolfbark's going to try to push the score here, though. All right, so this the ghoul with the ball does not have blocks, so. Well, 
Good and in comes the no, no, that was with dodge. So yeah, no reroll. Oh, and the removal. Had a shot. It was only a four plus. And that's pretty much gonna do it for Jim's uh, drive, I think. Yeah, you can cheer. I'm uh, I'm cheering for Jim in this. No, no, no offense to Wolfmark, but Jim pays. Jim pays me, and by pays me, I mean he doesn't pay me anything. <laughs> All right, two KOs aside, it's gonna feel. And then uh, the Witcher also being out. That's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a tall task in the second half for Jim to come back in this one. <laughs> uh, he snaked an Ari and he snaked and let the and, and left the ball open to a wrestle hit. Uh, didn't even need wrestle. He got the full power on him. So. Yep. It was um, it was very it was a very aggressive offensive drive by Jim. Uh, not a bad one, but more aggressive than we normally see out of Jim. Looked like maybe yeah. I, I I'm just I'm really curious to see his thinking on that. I, um, I could explain that away for a lot of Blood Bowl players that I watch. Jim is just one of those guys that I wouldn't expect that from quite as much. Yeah, and there's that. Maybe I mean maybe the the format got him got him in the ass. Maybe coming right off of another another pretty tense game got him. Uh, is Jim going to even try? Looks like he is. Makes the dodge in. Just to push on the first one. And just to push on the second one. Oh, re-rolls it. No, still a push. Jim's red dice game, though, has been strong this tournament. Has yet to... Uh, <laughs> Has has yet to roll a uh, has yet to roll a skull and I think about nine ten yeah at least nine at least nine red dice thrown thus far no skulls hello Doc Dirk Walker I almost called you Doc Worker. <laughs> Uh, so this is Jimmy Fantastic playing, but I am Scaramezzo, his uh, co-host from the JFW Wrestling Streams, calling the game for you. And Jimmy is playing Dark Elves in the Blitzpit Tournament, which is a one-minute tournament, uh, cash prize tournament, or one-minute turn cash prize tournament. And he's playing against Wolfbark's uh, Dark Elves, who have successfully prevented uh, Jim from scoring on his opening drive. Uh, sidekick is not the word we use for Skirametsu Tarsus. Without Skirametsu, the JFW would be a fucking shambles. <laughs> Possibly a, a Dante Kells. Maybe he was looking for the style points turn 8 score again like last game. And yeah, all Wolf can do here, even though he's got complete control of the ball, is just take as many hits as he can, hope for another removal. Uh, but we're going into the half, nothing, nothing. <laughs> well, the way this game is going, I don't think we need to talk about prize money for Jim anytime soon. The worst thing, uh, again, the worst thing, uh, 
The worst thing about a loss in this game is that Jim would have to play a third game this afternoon or this evening for him. Uh, if he had won this game, he would have the rest of the day off waiting for the rest of the tournament tomorrow. And that was two zombies back in and no elves. Oh, I think this one is uh, is all but called already. Jim with nine players against a full 11 and a bench. Wolfbark can pretty much do whatever he wants. And again, the everything is fine alarm just went off and everything is fine. But maybe not on Jimmy's end. Oh, did Jim? Uh, <laughs> I didn't see the GG call because I'm watching uh, the client. <laughs> yeah, he's probably not feeling too good about this one. But hey, anything can happen. Nine elves is enough to win a game of Blood Bowl. Just the high kick and the ghoul right under it. Does not catch so one and nine keeps uh, keeps the keeps the dream alive. <laughs> but coming out of last game with the win, losing this one again, it sucks for Jim because he's got to play another game of Blood Bowl, but um. He's a little, I, I, in my experience watching him in the last few blitz bits, it's losing that first one. He just gives up on the whole tournament. So maybe has a little bit more in him to dig deep on. We'll see. Oh, no, yeah. Wolf, no, yeah, nothing against Wolfport at all. Great opponent. Or great player. There's a dub skulls cost Wolf Bark a reroll. Il ramasse le ballon sans difficulté. But he does get the pick up clean, and now that ball is somewhat secure. Mano a mano, Bob. 
And yeah, I think we're uh, basically settling in here for a slow march to a 1 0 on turn 16. <laughs> Another dub skulls on Whoop Bar. Now he has to think about eating it. Ball's still pretty secure if he does. And he does eat it. A um, little bit of a reprieve for Jim there. Slows him down, but again, ball secure. And Jim going in for the cage dive. Doesn't get it, though. And, you know. It was going to have to be a little bit. Oh, he's got head wrestle on her, but uh, still a little bit hopeful on the blodger. Wolfbark able to clear a hole right through the middle. His whole team can basically just move down and cage up around the ball. And then he can just sit there laughing for six turns. Cette formation permet d'avancer sans trop de risque. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. And he's got the uh, the proper cage with the guard on both cage corners, so any future dives are going to be red D's against the blodger. Doesn't even take the block. The 1 and 9 block on the... Uh... That's interesting. Do you just red D that mummy then? Bring everyone back, maybe uh, red red dye the mummy and uh, clear a spot for that wrestle witch to come right back in and try and uh, try and get that ball loose on red dice. Jim, no stranger to red dice this tournament. I'm bringing everyone back first, but I think I have a feeling that might be the play right now. And there it is, uh, but doesn't get him. Can't really re-roll this, unfortunately. Gonna have to take the win with uh, Mummy down on the ground and his guy not not removed. So Mummy right back on his feet, though. Yep, exactly, Muppet. Like that's as close as you're gonna get to a uh, to a win on that, I think. Hello, Kfog. How's it going? Um, at least I didn't lose both games. <laughs> uh, you, did you already win your second game? Yeah, yeah, that's been gone for like ten minutes. Wow, you lasered through that. Eh? Jim started a little late, but uh... yeah, you, I think we were we were the first ones. Twenty is both uh, all okay, games well, with the first round. Congratulations on having to play a third game of Blood Bowl. Yeah, it's it feels a bit better. I was a bit got it uh, against a squad in his tribe after picking up on a on a six, needing a six. Oh. Yeah, Jim Jim had one of those in his last game. He ended up winning it, but. Uh... Scattering ball caught on a six by a ghoul in the rain. Yeah, yeah that's the, I also in his drive I had two dice into one dice with wrestle, which didn't get the, 
the blood shut down. Then my Wrestle Witch got killed on the Blitz. Oh, <laughs> and then my Block Witch had six dice laid off. Couldn't find the power. <laughs> Hello, oh, Lin Gara. Well, in this one, we're, 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 uh, we're rooting on Jim here, but Wolfbark's kind of locking this down. Jim failed to score because of a snake. Oh. Uh, in the first half, and now Wolfbark just on a oh, slow that, march to victory. But that's, that's, that's open from the back, that cage. It sure is. Not really sure what that was. I think he ran out of time. Uh, did he? I wasn't, look, I, I wasn't looking at the timer, but that's a straight-up 1D with Wrestle. Yeah. Um, and plenty of recovery if he gets lucky here. Yeah, but it's, the problem is, yeah, you want, don't want to get into the two-second... <laughs> they better mm. hit it first up. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh no. no snake. And he snakes, snakes the dodge. Well, I think I think Jim will probably be joining us on commentary shortly. <laughs> With oh an opportunity like that, and all you get are double snake or double ones. I, 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 <laughs> I tell you, Dark Elf coast in Blitz Pit. <laughs> I tried. I, I tried them the first first Blitz Pit. I think it was. I played the initial and I had three jump up uh, piling on uh, dwarves and he oh, got blitz on top of it. So my whole team was <laughs> bucket down before I even started the game. Wow. Um, and yeah, then... Jim, Jim's first game opened with him getting blitzed on and then the second half opened with uh, I think it was eight of his players getting uh, stunned in a, <laughs> in a pitch invasion. But the, the thing is the rest of which is still there. Yeah. Um, the only problem is Wolfpack should be smart enough to get their guard in a better position this time. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> For 15 And yeah, this is a uh, full cage guard on almost every corner. Mm -hmm. Jim, pretty much Jim's game entirely rests on a uh, on a cage dive into a red dice at this point. Yeah. And it has for some time. Although, again, yeah, curious leaving that backside wide open like that. Um, Not this last turn, last turn. I'm I'm fine with defensive wide. I I prefer actually taking double guard wides, but I don't like to put skills on the mummies, so I'll skill up all all the ghouls. Um, and you should have three ghouls. You should have a naked ghoul somewhere. Yeah, he does. Um, I don't particularly like guard on mummies because they just get stuck out of out of sync with the rest. Actually, that zombie can he? Nah, don't think there's any cheeky uh, chain push out to getting dice. I think he's just gonna come right back in with that wrestle witch again. Yeah, goes the long way in, doesn't doesn't get his dodge, and now she's out of the game. <laughs> She died earlier in the game. The apple brought her back. So. Uh. Well, this is over, isn't it? Yeah, it's been over for a while, unfortunately, Jim. That was a real, real rough snakes on the uh, on that witch blitz two turns ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. After dark off, come on, turn. Well, unlikely. Hello, K Fog. Hey, man. The, the, fucking, the fucking double one in the first half was shit. Not getting yeah. any luck on the sideline was shit. <laughs> Jim, yeah. can you can you talk us through your 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 opening drive? Your thinking on that? Were you planning to score like turn five, six, or no? Did no. you just kind of get worked into that? It was it was very aggressive for your play. Well, I wanted him to like have to plant one of his mummies on the sideline, you know, near the sideline, mm -hmm. where I could either go for a cheeky surf or leave it fucked for the entire half. Yeah, okay. And unfortunately, um, 
I just fucking rolled some ones and couldn't do anything. <laughs> Basically, I like if I'd rolled a one on the other turn, I could have two deed the white. You know the guard white. That was a re I maybe I should have re-rolled that one that I rolled, or maybe I should have dodged the runner and GFI'd with him, and then re-rolled the GFI then, and then I could have hit with a <laughs> witch elf. And then if I'd hit with the witch elf, then I would have been a lot safer. I don't know. I just. I felt like it was going to be good to really take out one of the one of the mummies. I really just wanted to take a mummy out either by surfing or avoidance. <laughs> that was all it was. But Jim, it is tradition when we both play Dark Elf, we need to have a shit tournament that play each other. <laughs> yeah, are, are we up next, are we? Yeah, um, I think so. <laughs> I won my uh, loser bracket game. Oh no! Like, <laughs> yeah, I got to begin to roll the six to score on his drive. Oh, Literally man. picked it up on a six. Yeah. yeah Which five that. seconds less uh, <laughs> left as well. <laughs> and uh, survived nine dice on the ball in his drive. Oh. 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 Nearly. If it's what happened. Oh, yeah, I was about to say. Oh, wait, that's not right. Could have got um, that last time. Last turn as well, I, if I'd got the double push, I could have had 2D on the ball as well. Yeah. But didn't. But you had to, you had the snare guys where you had one die straight up. Yeah, yeah. That was probably the turn. Yeah, but I mean. But, but uh, he needs to roll die still though. Not many. <laughs> no, but still, to if she, you, if you can, you blood chain around the ball or block players, and he needs to clear stuff to get a good cage again. Yeah, that's all I can do, isn't it? Just fucking throw people at him. And... <laughs> oh, that's what I had to do at the end of the first half. <laughs> After I lost the fucking ball. Went for a surf. Didn't even get the fucking surf. <laughs> oh. Yes, Dark Walker TD. Yeah, very important people. They're all... Uh, they're not that important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no Gorilla Mezzo, but um No Gorilla Mezzo, no Scurra Mezzo, the uh, greatest the, the the greatest backstage brawler in JFW history, <laughs> the longest reigning internet champion in the JFW does not even get a te a player on the team. <laughs> that's no, no Dave. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Although in fairness I don't think there was a Jimmy Fantastic either. No, there's no Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, me, good old Mia Khalifa. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> Theresa May. <laughs> mm. Here comes Jimmy's last hope this turn. Nice little cheeky little cage dive for the glory, Jim. Mm. Oh, if that had been like been lovely both down. Or just a double skull, quad skulls would have yeah, been alright. I, I, I don't really oh. think this Frenzy White is the way to go on this team. <laughs> I don't know, I, I honestly don't mind it because it means that you don't have a... Like, it's nearly as good as Tackle, and then you've got it, you know, against dwarves and everything. Yeah. Which, if you're expecting a bunch of dwarves, it's pretty good, isn't it? Come on, one in nine. Ah... <sighs> oh. Just needed to push. Make it into come on, make it interesting, Wolf. <laughs> At and least if it had been a push, I could have I could have pushed the fucking ghoul twice to get a two D again. <coughs> Fuck sake. Yeah, but you can, that's still possible. We just need to run the wrong long long way around. <laughs> yeah. Still have the. Um, And um, now it's not as, but now it's slightly harder. <laughs> yeah. Now it's probably easier to just go from the bottom and just knock the ball free. Yep. I can curl. Whoop. Oh, come on. Oh, finally oh. hits his red dice skull and now a push. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Alright, you know, here here can come Wolfbark's like fourth double skulls of the game. Nope. <laughs> oh no, it is a triple skulls, I mean. <laughs> <sighs> oh well, GG Jim. Yeah.
Thanks. <laughs> See if you can get some KOs back and pretend like you have a shot at this one turn. Yeah. <laughs> Wolfpack did power bludge as well and rolled t two snake. Yep. I mean, the biggest one was the snake on offense, right? Because if I just fucking made that, yep. balls, Absolutely. you know, at least I scored, don't I? But before then, I don't know. You know, I think he played well to put us under so much pressure, but I really just wanted to, like, really pull him to one side. Also, I've got, like, two friends and he's got one, so he might have been tempted to try and, like, go for some kind of... You know, frenzy bollocks, and then I was, you know, was confident I could beat him in a sideline situation. So I thought, if I can get him near the sideline, I can maybe surf a player, and uh, if not, um, at least strand a strand a mummy. I really just wanted to strand a mummy. That was my biggest, my biggest goal. Because I don't really like people getting p people punched by them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't really like people getting sure. punched. So I just thought, if I can put him over one side and then switch to the other side, then it's like one, two, three turns to get back, isn't it? So. I really wanted to kind of go, that's why I wanted to go so hard oh, on the side. Well, three out of four KOs, finally a good KO roll this turn. Mm, that incredible. helps. There is that's a good. shot here, it is doable, but... <laughs> no rebuilds so sucks a bit. Yeah, it's pretty much impossible. Come on, team positive. <laughs> it's gotcha pretty quick, much man. impossible. Well, well the real question is, what's, what's more likely... Uh, pulling off the one turn with a quick snap, or getting uh, or pulling off a quick turn. Or, then, uh, yeah, excuse you've got to fucking me. Pulling off a stop bitching like one turn. Pulling off one turn with a quick snap, better, or eh? just getting a riot. Like I feel like you still got to try the one turn. Yeah, because if you get a riot, you get a riot at the end of the day. Yeah, so. yeah. You else, yeah. you can still react to a riot, and the quick yeah. snap shouldn't make much difference for you anyway. It just makes it easier. The setup wise, you with else is pretty much the same. Ugh. God, it's taking me 10 hours to do this. This isn't good with a. <laughs> well, you've got 27 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Run around there, punch him. Go to there. Oh, she's probably there, isn't she? Right. I don't fucking know. Right, punch him. <laughs> All right. Oh, good, he gets oh. <laughs> oh, he got past two. Fa <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Can't re roll it. Nope. Ah, well. Well, GG, Jim. GG. Pretty sure I can't do anything now. Um, no. I'm not gonna punch. No, I'm not gonna punch. I'm gonna end the turn. <laughs> oh god. Oh <laughs> no, the third game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> it's literally the worst. Yeah. Now, now you gotta play one more, Jim. Couldn't close it out. Fifty blocks. That's a lot. 57% dodges isn't great, is it? But then a lot of them were 4 plus dives, to be fair. <laughs> a lot of them were 4 plus dives. But a lot of them weren't as well. 22, 17, 16, that's more like it. 31, 32, oh, 50. <laughs> I did not see that Rick's uh, second loss was at the hands of Kefa. You mean me, man. <laughs> Look at that. He rolled as many pals as he did both downs or, or pushes, essentially. Crazy. Dodged better than me as well. <laughs> so we've got still playing right now is Shawnee Elliot, or at least there's no result in yet. Right. To well, figure out who faces random. <laughs> Right, um, thank you, thank you, Skuro and KFog. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.